Meg Gavanen, and um, welcome back to another random film review. And uh, I'm going to review, um, so like a 1950 something, 1955 film, uh, The Night of the Hunter. Uh, now, I reviewed this like a long ass time ago, um, but so, you know, it, it doesn't exist anymore. Um, but this film stars uh, Robert Mitchum. Uh, Shelley Winters, that's all I know, uh, yeah, um, if you're wondering, um, who Shelley Winters is, uh, you might have seen the infamous interview where she dumped, uh, liquor, like, I think it was like champagne, or not champagne, a whiskey or something, I think, right, uh, dumped it on Oliver Reed during an interview in the Carson show, um, but anyways, um, yeah, let me just, hold on, sorry about this, okay, yeah, this is, uh, I have this on Criterion, and, um, okay, there we go, yeah, and, uh, this film is, uh, I think it's just one of the all-time greats, uh, Robin Meacham, uh, he's a, uh, like this killer and he's known for uh, you know just kind of preying on the weak you know the weak kind of people the weak weak women uh, and um, it basically takes their fortune and um, Shelley Winters character her husband uh, he stole a bunch of money and hid it somewhere there's a secret place which I won't spoil that and uh, he gets thrown in prison and just one day in the prison, you know, he meets Robert Meacham, and uh, I don't, for some reason, I, I'm never good at remembering these friggin' names now, but, oh, Harry Powell, god damn it, Harry, Harry Powell, okay, <laughs> um, Shelley Winter's husband meets Harry Powell, you know, played by Robert Meacham, uh, in the prison, and just, he's good at getting people to open up, and I guess he's just kind of feeling down and stuff, and he revealed that there's a, a you know, he hid a lot of money somewhere, and the family, the address, and everything. So, um, when he gets out, I think he, uh, I think he killed him, or he like he died, but I, th I think he killed him. And when uh, Robert Meacham uh, got out, he posed as a preacher, as you can see. Uh, doesn't look like a preacher, but I, mean, I, I don't know, you know, old school preacher. Uh, oh, and something else. Yeah, so he's got like love. Um, tattooed on his uh, knuck knuckles, kind of, you know, his finger knuckle things, uh, and he has hate on the other one, that's like a famous thing, um, and uh, he goes to this family and kind of befriends the kids, introduces himself to the mom, Shelley Winters, uh, and basically integrates himself into the family, uh, and then eventually uh, marrying Shelley Winters' character. Um, and then the whole thing is him trying to uncover where this treasure treasure is and only Pearl, the little girl, which is, that's Pearl, knows where it's hidden, you know. Um, and um, there's, a, there's a song in there which I thought was quite, quite funny. You know, it's, I guess it's a religious song. The bringing in the sheep, or sheave, you know, and you know, it's the song is bringing in the sheave bringing in the sheep and I thought it was bringing in the sheep but then my good friend Todd corrected me this is like a long ass time ago now so I, I know now what it is but before you know I, I didn't know um, and I was singing it in that review you know bringing in the sheep bringing in the sheep we will go rejoicing and it, Todd corrected me and told me it's sheave I don't know what the fuck sheave is but so okay bringing in the sheave okay I, I don't know I know now, um, but this is, you know, it's of course in glorious black and white, as um, beautiful cinematography, I thought, uh, and this is a little slow burn, but I don't mind that, and if you don't mind that either, you know, you, you might enjoy it, and if you like older films, you, you might like it too. Uh, one of the most, um, to me at least, uh, famous scenes is there's a, a sort of like a magical boat ride that the, the, the um, little girl Pearl and a brother take when trying to escape the grasp of Harry Powell and I thought it's pretty good uh, boat ride it just um, 
uh, there's something just mystical to me about that. I, I don't know. Uh, and she's talking to the boy, you know. And and the whole thing, he becomes this lurking uh, figure, you know. You might even say something akin to like maybe Michael Myers in the Halloween films where he's just known as the shape. So you just kind of see him lurking, you know, starting off as a shadow and he creeping up over the hill, you know. Uh, and the music that plays, just um, absolutely well done and beautiful, beautifully crafted film. Uh, so I would give uh, Night of the Hunter... And, and I do highly, highly recommend this one. Um, out of 10, um, I think, to be quite honest, I would give it like like a 9.25, maybe even a 9. I would, I would stop at a 9.25 out of 10. So brilliant film. Do check it out. Get it on the next Criterion sale. Um, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, I got OCD, so, you know, I, I have to be very gentle with my stuff, you know. Uh, anyways, that's it. Hope you all enjoyed, and see ya.